Okay, I'm back. I just went in and paid my little bill, but I am back and um, I just wanted to come in really quick to say something. Uh, like I said, I just came from church and we had a very um, wonderful message today. I just wanted to share the message and then share some little nuggets with y'all on today. So, um, our pastor was speaking about, um, about today that in her time of studying and prayer, um, to find out what, save my gas, let me, for, uh, her to find out what the Lord would have her to, um, share with us on today. And he said that this day, May 7th is a blessed day for his children, um, for all of his people. And, you know, he wants to shower out. She took us, uh, into some, uh, scriptures, which I cannot remember off the top of my head. And for me to be able to tell you, I would have to go on my phone and I'm on my phone. So I can't help you there. But, um, basically the scripture says, um, you know, come unto me and I'll show you great and mighty things. Um, which you know not of, something to that effect. And, you know, there are lots of things that God has stored up for us, lots of things um, that are already ours, but it hasn't been released yet, or we haven't um, we haven't sought after it yet, or uh, there's something blocking us from receiving what God has for us, right? So no matter what season, you know, some, some of y'all may not be church people or Christian people or whoever. Um, so you may not understand some of the jargon, um, but we have different seasons in our lives. Um, you might be going through a season of lack or um, you might be going through a stressful season. You might be in a season where everything is coming together and is lining up for you and where all of your hard work is finally paying off. But no matter what season you are in your life, um, be joyous in your season because all things work together for the good of those who love God. And it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter who you are or what you've been through. God has a special plan just for you and I can speak on this all day from personal experience that no matter what it looks like what you've been through what it seems like you're going through right now God has a special special plan for you in this season and seasons to come the whole time from your birth until now he said from the womb he knew you. He predestined everything that has to do with you. He knows it. Even the number of the hairs on your head. He knows the number. Imagine that. A God that cares for you so much. Now, I don't it, don't look at circumstances as a as a a measure of his love or his care or his mercy or anything because a man who is born of the flesh we are surely going to deal with fleshly things of the world we may be afflicted in certain areas no doubt but that is not a measure of god's love or his thoughts towards you or anything he says he, he has great thoughts towards you and he wants to see you successful he wants to see you succeed in all the areas of your life so i'm telling you no matter what season you're in right now hold on to the fact that god wants to bless you he wants the best for you he wants the greatest for you but even in that listen to this nuggets of advice there are people we have in our lives some people come into your lives for a season. Some people come into your life for a reason. You've got to discern. Sometimes we are holding on to people in our lives that no longer have a place in our life. They might have been good five years ago, two years ago, last week even. 
But now is a time that some of these people, you have to release them out of your life because they become a hindrance over the blessings that God has for you. Somebody may be a great friend, but they're not going where you're not, where you're going. They're not talking like you're talking. They're not trying to, to rise to levels that are beyond where they are now. Then that person needs to back up out of your circle because if you cannot surround yourself with people who are where you want to be or people who are going where you want to go, then you're doing yourself a disservice. You might have all these goals, these visions, these dreams, these ideas. You might have ideas for a business. You might have plans for some great thing that you have. You might have for a mind, a mind for invention, a mind to write. You might be, you might be a person who who has a gift of healing. You might be a person who has any of these gifts that God has given unto us. And because of the people that we surround ourselves with, they drain that out of you or they hinder you from seeing that you should pursue that thing or that you should be walking in that thing. Don't let people that you choose to keep in your life hold you up from what God has you. I've been there, you know, I don't care if it's friends, it's family. Sometimes people just, you got to cut people off. So this, I'm sure, is for somebody watching. Sometimes you have to cut people off. And it's not about being mean. It's not about thinking that you're better than the next person. But you want everything that God has for you. You will have it. But you can't let people be lording over you and holding you back from what you need to do. You can't. People who come in your life, they might say that, they, you know, they love the Lord or that they're going where you're going at. But you sit back and you listen to some of these conversations. You sit back and you listen to some of the things that they have to say. You sit back and you realize, hey, this person is supposed to be X, Y, and Z. But when we get on the phone, they they never talking about the Lord, or they're never talking about the plans that they have to be better and do better. They're never talking about what you can do better. They just lull you and they sit there with these vapid and, and irrelevant conversations talking about nothing. And that wraps your time up. That holds you back. That's 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes for some people, an hour, two hours, three hours on the phone, hours of your life that you will never, ever, ever get back. That you could have been doing something constructive. That you could have been sitting there talking to somebody who actually has a plan for their life. That you could be sitting down and strategizing for the next level. Are you wanting to go to the next level? I know I do. Sometimes you have to leave people where they are. So today, and now that I'm at eight minutes... Sit back. I, I dare you. I dare you to sit back. Just think about. Think about the people who are in your life. Think about the people that are pushing you and motivating you. Who see the potential in you. Who see the greatness in you. Who are pulling it out of you. People that you can get together. Like-minded people that you can get with. And talk about things that make sense. But all these people who are just fillers that's what i'm gonna call them fillers they're just fillers in your life they're there for they really serve no purpose it's nice to be nice to people but that's called an associate keep them in the associates field you can associate you can say hi you can talk to them for a little bit and then get on off the phone or get out of their presence because sooner or later their their spirit is going to draw on you and it's going to become toxic and you are not going to be able to go forth in what you have to do. Because whether you know it or not, and I'm sorry for all of you who do not, you know, believe in this sort of thing. Click off at any time or stay tuned. There are spirits that are attached to, to, to all people. Very sometimes it's a good spirit. Sometimes it's a not so good spirit and spirits are transferable. They can rub off on you. Somebody can have a spirit of inconsistency and they're inconsistent in everything that they do and they can't get it together. You don't want that to rub off on you. I don't. Somebody might have just a spirit of, of, of discord 
everything that they come into contact with is a problem. You don't want that in your life. You don't want that rubbing off on you. Do you? Do you? I don't. I only want good things. That which is good, that which is pure, and that which is going to help me to grow and go to the next level. And you should want the very same thing for yourself. God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me. And everything that we do should be taking us toward these plans. He has great things in store for us. He didn't call any of us to be in lack or to be suffering or to be doing anything that's just making us feel like we're at the end of the rope. No, God has great things for us. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You got to speak what it is. You've got to get a boldness on the inside of you to realize, hey, God has something for me and I'm going to go and get it. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're my sister, if you're my brother, you're my uncle, my cousin, whoever you are. If you're not doing it, if you're not helping me go to the next level, if what you're saying don't line up with what I know, if you're not saying I'm great, if you're not saying we can do this, if you're not saying we're going to go higher, if you're not saying we're going to get out here, we're going to make this money, if you're not saying anything positive, if you're not saying, hey, great things are going to happen in our lives, if you're not saying, hey, if, for those of you who are single, I'm single, if you're hanging around people who can't get their life together, don't let them give you no advice. Why you want to give me advice and you can't get your life together? Think about it, y'all. Please think about it. Please. Please. Because we have too many people in our lives. It's hard enough when you're dealing with your own mind. Right? Y'all ever been there? When you have things going on in your own mind where it seems like you're battling yourself. It seems like you want to do something. But as soon as you take a step forward, fear overshadows you. Or something just comes into your mind and says, ah, come on. You can't do that. Whatever. You need any help. No outside voices telling you what you can and cannot do. You don't need any outside voices encouraging you to do stuff that you don't have no business doing. Think about it. Sit back. I I challenge you. I challenge you to get out a piece of paper, out your journal, whatever you like to write in or on. Write a list of the people that you spend your time with. And then... You know, make some columns. What do they contribute to you? Write all that down. Do they contribute positiveness to you? Positivity. Do they con- do they contribute that? Or is something always wrong? Is there always some kind of tension? They always got drama. You might not be wrapped up in their drama, but every time you talk to them, they got a problem with somebody. Every time you talk to them, something is wrong. I'm going to need you to get your life together. Is something always wrong? Get your life together and stop telling me about it. (laughs) Y'all, I'm not going to hold you up. Y'all need to be sitting here talking to me for 15 minutes. You got your own lives to live. And I hope that you have a blessed, wonderful day. But just sit back and think about who do you have in your life? What are they contributing to your life? And how can you begin to make a change for you? consistency is so important consistency in your friendships consistency in your mind the things that you do let it be consistent and don't let nobody consistently be around you who's coming with foolishness i'm sorry i didn't did i yell at you i didn't mean to god bless you y'all have a great day don't let anybody hold you back from the greatness that god has for you peace out y'all